Amazon is creating a world of products that can integrate into our everyday lives. They first tried making a smartphone that didn't do too well, so now they're sticking with home automation in the Amazon Echo lineup. Hey, this is Trey with Topic Tech, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Amazon Echo Dot, which I feel like is kind of a prequel to the Amazon Echo. To start out, this does a lot of things that the Amazon Echo does, and you don't have to own an Echo already. However, in order to order one of these, you do have to have some kind of Amazon product that uses Alexa and order it that way. One great thing is it does use applications like Pandora, and it connects through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so that you can use Alexa through the app on your smartphone. Opening this bad boy up, the first thing that you see is the actual Echo Dot. It's pretty heavy and it feels really good in the hands, so you can almost be sure you're not going to knock this off the shelf. Also comes with a pretty big wall USB adapter, simple manuals of course, they also give you an auxiliary cable, that way anything that comes out of Alexa you can plug up and have come out of different speakers like your sound system speakers. And then they also give you a micro USB cable, which I already have a lot of these laying around. And it's pretty cool that it, it is used as a universal cable versus a proprietary one. Now, getting a closer look at this little guy, it's basically just like an Amazon Echo. It's just a fraction of the size and costs under 100 bucks. So what is an Echo Dot? Well, it's a voice speaker that you can command it to listen to your music or control the lights in another room. With the Amazon Echo growing at a steady rate, there's a lot of applications that are supported by Alexa, such as Uber or Domino's. The only two ports is the micro USB and the 3.5 millimeter jack, which they want you to use an external speaker. The two buttons on the top is the mute button, so it doesn't listen to you all the time, and an action button to activate Alexa manually. The setup process is extremely simple. You simply plug it up using the micro USB cable that it comes with. It actually has a really cool glowing blue light, so this actually looks really cool in the dark. Just download the Alexa app and follow the simple steps through there. It's going to make you log in through your Amazon account, which that's how you ordered this device anyways. So once you're logged in, you can start working and doing all your Alexa commands that you want. It does, however, make you watch a short video that does give you a couple of tips of what Alexa can do on the Echo Dot. All right, let's test it out. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently, in North Little Rock, it's 82 degrees with partly sunny skies. Tonight, you can look for clear skies and a low of 49 degrees. Alexa, play me some prime music. Here's a prime station you might like, Bruno Mars. Alexa, next. The built-in speaker actually isn't too bad, and it can actually hear you over the music. Now that it's set up, you can ask it anything. Well, almost anything. Alexa, make me a sandwich. I wish I could. Cooking's beyond me at the moment. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, check out TopicTech.com for more stuff like this. And as always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, and I will see you next time the same finger profile so it allows me to double up on my fingerprints.